welcome to shell scripting tutorial this is the 10th video session in this series of tutorial my name is Ravi so here we are going to learn in this session is uh, about these commands okay so man command and where is what is and uh, how you can um, use an help and uh, help command and p info p info command okay in the sense like how you can get the help when you did not have any internet access to your system okay like uh, you have an a command you know the command but uh, how to run that what is those options and uh, which category the command comes okay do you have an any access to that or not okay so using these um, commands you can uh, get help uh, instantly from the command line okay how you can do that okay just uh, welcome to the shell scripting again so man so we are going to see that in the man we have an a few categories okay mm, in man we have executable programs or shell commands okay which is the normal executable programs are the commands which comes under the category one okay so how you can know these categories one or two or three or four something like that okay if you see here which man in the bracket there is a one okay so this manual pager utilities is about the description about this man page okay this is the category one okay in the sense if you have the the bracket number one or two three four five these numbers in the sense it comes to the these category okay here we have an a eight categories okay one is shell commands or executable programs system calls okay system calls in the sense function provided by the kernel so whenever you do something though it will call to the system so that is called as a system calls okay library calls function with program libraries okay so the program program libraries whenever you execute those uh, related stuff so this category will comes in okay third category okay special files special files in the sense suppose whenever you are opening like a slash dev slash dvd slash dev slash cd rom okay slash slash dev slash sr0 something like that if you are reading about those things so that is comes under the special files like uh, uh, this uh, slash dev kind of stuff okay file formats and uh, conventions so uh, example is slash etc slash password file in the sense this file is regular file looks like but it has an a some special formations whenever the user is uh, going to execute the password command it execute from the user perspective is different and administrator perspective it is different okay so the category sixth is the in the sense uh, games okay so games related help if you looking for any games related help okay the cam category is six okay miscellaneous so miscellaneous in the sense any programs which is written by the administrators or the somebody programmers or developers okay the macro packages or the conventions okay that's come to under the category seven okay all the system administration commands system administration commands in the sense which would be executable by the administrator or the super user only that comes under the system administrator commands which is usually only the root okay like uh, how you can do these commands is like slash usr slash as been directory so which is only be like to be run by the administrators like this kernel routines in a sense which is non-standard kernel routine uh, any program executable like kernel related things that comes under the category 9 okay so these are the categories we can know that so how you can know suppose a if i want to execute an a what is about the command of ls so the ls command comes under the user commands which is category 1 so here we can get the all the options about the ls commands how many options are there okay so these examples also we will get from the man command okay so man password file so this password file comes under from the 
slash etc one this is the user utility it is coming under okay but if you execute some different one okay something like uh, user add okay this is an a system management command system management comes in the sense which can be executable by only the root user okay if i go here so when you press okay q you will come back okay if if you want to search something you can just put like slash okay you can search something user and something like this okay so whenever you want to continue you can just press small n it will come down so if you want to go up you can just press shift n so that it will go up okay like this you can just use any help to up and come down search the things you whatever you are looking for exactly okay in that man pages so okay this man pages basically look at into the slash usr local okay sh share and man okay here is all the man pages category wise located here okay if you want to go here but those directly not any files which is into the dot dot dj files whenever you type on a man command that dot dot dj file will be read and uh, it will give you the output okay so one more thing here is where is where is in the sense what this where is is useful for is whenever you are typing some command okay basically if you type command like this it should not execute but we have said some environment variable that's why it is executing but actually how you should execute is that slash usr bin okay ls you should execute the file like this okay execute the command like this but whenever you eg always you want to execute in like that but you don't know where is the path actually okay then where is type the command name okay so now you will get the exact path where it is the file will be executed from okay so where is man okay here so where is user add okay so if you see here slash bin slash s bin in the sense slash bin is for all the user executable files and has been for the super user executable files like that you can just know that where is the command exactly path which is coming from okay you can also see little description using the what is okay you can just type like this password in a sense what this related password what are the things are there it will be execute so password is an a category 5 is password file and category 1 is update user authentication token in sense changing the passwords okay what is um, cat okay cat is an a fa so the file is used to print the files okay files print on the standard output like this so if you want to see little bit any command okay what is um, i can just say that cd it is change the working directory bash built in commands are she bash like that so you can also use help directly you can also use help like this ls hyphen hyphen help which will give the all the options about the command okay or else you can also do like this help hyphen ls okay or help Cat. Okay, like this also you can do, or you can also do alternative like this. Okay, so what are the ls command related things are there? So it will come all the things. Okay, so p info is also like same as like um, um, man pages only, but it is little bit colorful. Okay, so like this. P info also you can come down using the down arrow, up arrow, but it is like little bit colorful, but the same information, whatever the information comes under on man page. Okay, this is about the 
little bit about the how you are get going to get the help from the uh, command line interface whenever you are executing some commands you can just know the options from here okay thanks for watching the video please follow us on uh, social networking sites okay do remember to subscribe to our channel thanks